Thank you. It is time now for a look at our Sunrise Smart Start. Water levels along Lake Ontario have reached a new high. The entire southern shoreline of Lake Ontario is under flood warning this morning. The lake level is currently at 248.98 feet, breaking the old record of 248.95 in 2017 when there was disastrous flooding. Well, the main suspect in a Rochester shooting from last Thursday is due in court today. Police say Keith Williams was taken into custody after a standoff at a home on Peck Street yesterday. A witness telling 911 Williams brandished a gun. The shooting victim has been released from the hospital. Williams is charged with assault, menacing, and criminal possession of a weapon. A Newark man is facing several charges after he slammed his car into a Sotus apartment building Saturday night. Wayne County Sheriff's deputies say four people were injured in that crash caused by 21-year-old Willie Nash Jr. Deputies say Nash drove at the apartment building on West Main Street after someone threw a bottle of alcohol at his car. Four people were taken to Strong, including a one-year-old child. He is charged with criminal mischief, leaving the scene and driving without a license. Well, happening today, tickets for the CGI Rochester International Jazz Festival will go on sale beginning at noon. You can get your tickets and a full schedule of shows and a map at the ticket office on East Avenue and Gibbs Street in Rochester. The office is open Monday through Friday, noon to 5, until June 20th. The Jazz Fest this year is June 21st through the 29th. All right, a cool start to this work week, and temperatures are going up, but not too much today. Yeah, temperatures will only be up to near 60 for a high today. We'll have a good supply of sunshine uh, throughout the day, as the shot here from uh, Pinnacle Hill shows. Uh, this is how the sky will look uh, much of Monday. But, of course, we do have those lakeshore flood warnings in effect for today and for tomorrow along the Lake Ontario shoreline. Those winds coming in out of the west and northwest will be problematic, especially into Wayne County. Temperatures again today, right around 60 for a high. Have a jacket, but have the uh, sunglasses ready to go, too. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now.